Hi, everybody. You might have seen a new feature pop up in Google Docs recently that talks about the ability to combine your Google Keep Notes with Google Docs. So I want to talk a little bit about this cool new feature. So if you've never used Google Keep before, here's what it looks like. Uh, you can find it at keep.google.com. And it's basically a, a set of sticky notes. If you've ever used sticky notes on your computer, you're going to be right at home here. Um, a couple of neat things about Keep, uh, we have separate videos on those, but uh, some of this is kind of important and useful in case you haven't seen that. You can create uh, new notes by starting up here at the top, giving it a title, and then you can do some kind of neat things that you may not be used to with sticky notes. Uh, first of all, you can add drawings if you'd like. Uh, and again, you and your students have the ability to use Keep here. So you could draw out any fun things that you would like, uh, and then those can be part of your notes. Um, you can then add uh, different colors to help you kind of organize yourself. You can add images to your notes, and you can also put um, check boxes in here. So you can make lists of things to do as well that you can check off as you go. Now, probably the neatest thing about Keep, though, is that you can share your notes with anybody you want to. So you could make notes and share them with kids. You could have kids who are working together in groups go ahead and uh, share a note that they work on collaboratively. Maybe use it as a checklist as they work. Uh, you can share it with colleagues. You can do any sort of sharing you want, which is pretty neat. Okay, so I'm going to delete that one. Um, and now I want to show you how you can then incorporate this into your uh, Google Docs. So I'm going to go over to a Google Doc here that I have started. This would be like a paper for science class that I might be writing. And if I go to Tools, and now there's this icon for Keep Notepad, you'll see that off to the side, I get all of my notes that we were just looking at on the previous screen. And they look identical here. They they carry over the same colors. Uh, the fact that I had this note pinned to the top carries over here as well. So this is going to be the first note that I see. So that's fine. I mean, you can kind of see your notes, but there are uh, a few other neat things here. So first of all, I can go into the menu for any one of these notes and just hit add to document. And I'm going to have a um, I'm going to have all of that stuff copied over directly into my doc. So I could find a good spot for it. I can go in here, add the document, and there we go. So you can uh, take notes, and as you find things out on the web or in your free time, you can throw those all in your notes, and then you can come back and you can dump that stuff into your document at a later date. So that's kind of nice. Another nice thing that you can do is you can take notes from directly inside of whatever doc you're on. So I click over here, I give this a title, maybe things to research, and then I start listing out these topics. All right. And I can go and go and go and do all of this that I want. And you'll notice here that this has been tagged with the name of my document, which is essay. If I hit done, now you'll see that the notes are separated into uh, basically everything else and then the ones that are related directly to this document. So when I take notes in a doc and I can do as many of these as I want, when I open this uh, sidebar back up whenever I'm in this document, the notes for this specific Google Doc are going to show up right there at the top for you, which is pretty cool. Uh, another idea that you have here is we could take a note and we could say that this is going to be a, a to-do list. And we can uh, turn this into, oh, let me delete that little one there. Okay, so I'm going to click on that new list button first. And then I can call this to-do. Now I have a set of uh, checkboxes that I can go through and I could say I need to first do my uh, my first paragraph and then my next item here is going to be a table of contents 
and you can set up this, uh, this clickable list of things that I need to do as I continue to work through my document, All right? And then uh, once you check them off, it'll show them listed down here under completed items, All right? So it could be a good way to teach your kids to kind of plan out what they're gonna work on and then check those things off as they go. And when they're done with an item, they can go ahead and just delete it. Uh, they can also open that, that specific little note in Keep. So if I press that button, it'll go right to Keep. It'll open that note up nice and big for me if I want some more space. Uh, so let's say I started this and then I wanted to add an image or add a drawing to it. I can do these steps, open it up in Keep, and now I can come in and I can uh, add a drawing to it. Uh, the final thing I'll mention about Keep that is really nice is that you can add, you and your students can add this Google Keep app to your phones, and then you can take notes on the go. Um, and then that stuff can be accessed back on your computer and back within the document. So if you have kids who really like to write, this would be a great way for them to be able, you know, when, whenever inspiration hits them, they can record things into their phone on these notes. They can take images of stuff in the world around them. And then when they get back to their documents, their paper that they're writing, they have quick access to all of that information. So it's a pretty neat little feature um, and the ability for these notes to now be integrated so closely into the documents is really cool. And I hope you can find some neat ways to utilize that in your classroom.